What's up everybody, Weston here with GoWesty, and today we're going to go over the manual regulator rebuild kit. First, you're going to want to start by removing all the components attaching the panel to the door. Next, you want to use a non-marring pry tool to remove the panel from the door. With the panel out of the way, now remove the moisture barrier film. If you do not have a replacement, save this for reuse. Next, position the glass so that the bolt holding the glass to the regulator can easily be removed. Once the bolts are removed, use some light duty tape to hold the glass out of the way. Now that the glass is out of the way, remove the four bolts holding the regulator to the door. Two of these bolts may be hidden behind some foam that can be easily removed. With all four bolts removed, push the regulator back and slide it out through the larger hole shown here. With the regulator out of the way, it's a good time now to clean the door pretty thoroughly and install rattle trap or sound deadening of your choice. When rebuilding the regulator, there are two options. Option one involves removing the round pivot without actually removing the cable from the regulator itself. You do this by pushing the tabs at the center of the round pivot inwards, then slide the round pivot off the shaft attached to the cable. On some regulators, the tabs are too far inward, and option one is unattainable, so you must do option two. This is the case, you can undo the tabs at the bottom of the regulator and then actuate it so that the cable can be pulled out and removed. Once the cable is through, support it with a pair of pliers, then grab the round pivot and begin to unscrew it. Eventually it will come off the cable. It's important to make a note of where it is before you unscrew it, as you want it to end up in the exact same position when you put it back together. Now that it is disassembled, clean the regulator thoroughly. Next, uninstall the cable, clean it really well, and give it a good amount of grease. Apply grease to the regulator as well, then reinstall the cable. If you did option one, install the round pivot guide piece onto the round pivot, then slide it over the two tabs and bend the two tabs to the side to hold it in place. If you did option two, put the round pivot guide piece onto the round pivot and thread it back onto the cable. Reinstall the cable and close the two tabs at the bottom of the regulator. Install the new guide pieces onto the glass support bracket. Install the glass support bracket back onto the regulator. Install the four bolts you initially removed, holding the regulator to the door. Now remove the tape you installed to hold the glass out of the way, and bolt the regulator back to the glass itself. Test all your bolts to make sure they are tight, then test the regulator to make sure it doesn't bind and it travels all the way up and all the way down. Then reinstall the door panel and all the components holding the door panel to the door, and you are done. 